currently working with a company called Indigen Private Limited Bangalore. Today, I will talk about Publish tab in Social Studio. Publish. First, what do you mean by publish? The publish will help you to create and publish the content across multiple social channels in real time. You can use publish for collaborative team planning on a unified calendar, and you can protect your company's brand by creating approval rules for social content. And finally, find the relevant and compelling content via your open platforms or with partner apps. When you log into the platform, it will automatically take you to the publish calendar view. This view will show all the posts which is published from your account. For example, if you have launched hundreds of campaigns on this month, where you can find all those posts over here. Secondly, you can see the ranges over here, that is days, weeks, months. For example, if you want to know today, which are all the posts which is published from your account, you can click the day where you can see there are almost four posts from different social accounts which is published. And next, if you want to see which are all the posts which is created for, uh, for the whole week, where you can see only Saturday it was posted. Same with respect to month, where you can see all the posts which is post from this workspace. Only Saturday, the post will be sent with four items. Next, the calendar will include account level filters, approval status filters, label filters, author filters, and media type filters. First comes to the social account filters. For example, this workspace which consisting of Facebook one account, YouTube one account, and Twitter one account. If you want to filter based on only Facebook accounts, where you can see only the Facebook accounts which is published from this workspace, where you can see only one post. Likewise, if you want to filter with respect to specific account, where you can filter those informations. Next, the status. The status is nothing but, for example, where we have number of status over here, I will explain one by one. First comes the schedule. The schedule is nothing but which are all the posts which is scheduled from this workspace. Scheduled with respect to specific time, which is which you can schedule it immediately or schedule it for later. That is depends on you. But which are all the posts which is scheduled from this workspace, you can find all those posts over here. The published. Published is nothing but if you post immediately without setting up of any scheduled purpose. If you post immediately at that point of time, all the post will come under published. Next, the pending approvals. The pending approvals is nothing but, for example, whenever you are creating a post which is comes under some brand perspective, in case by miss, some of the users, there may be chances that will post a personal information for to avoid those type of post they are creating a approvals generally I, I will show on the coming slides how to create the approval rules as well the same approval can reject the posts as well drafts drafts is nothing but for example once you created the post uh, but you are not published or scheduled at that time it will be in draft failed for example, if you have published the post, if you have scheduled the fourth post, but some of the one of the other reasons the post may be failed. At that point of that, that will come under failed. Next, schedule from one second. Next, schedule from Facebook. Schedule from Facebook is nothing but which are the posts which is scheduled from this Facebook scheduled not published likewise you have sent as unpublished which are all the posts which is not published which are all the posts which is deleted 
which are the pro post which is promoted promoters is nothing but paid promotions for example where we have in facebook where we have in uh, feed targeting uh, for that one which are the post you have use it for promotions likewise imported acknowledge pending acknowledgement with respect to a post and decline with respect to the post these are all the status where you can find i will show with respect to apart from approvals these are all the status you can find with respect to post next comes the labels labels is nothing but generally this will be used for reporting purpose for example if you're posting anything with respect to some words where for the reporting purpose we are going to assign each and every post with some words that is called labels next comes the author author is just nothing but which are all the who are all the users working under that workspace those are all the authors the media type media type you have an option like photo video link carousel image and the story for example if you want to check which are all the posts which is having only photos where you can see the post which is having only photos for example which are the post which is having only videos we can see the video likewise you can filter based on your requirements on the left nav bar you can find the icons to create a content for different social accounts and the next the calendar view i think i have explained over here next the draft where you can see the post on tweets uh, that are completed but not published yet next the performance where you can see the performance summary reports over the last seven days for example for the last seven days which are all the post you have posted from different social accounts where you can see for facebook on 2nd of jan where we have posted one post which which includes zero likes zero shares zero comments and zero post likewise you can find for twitter linkedin google youtube instagram pinterest you can see here for youtube I have posted one video that is social studios part one for that video where you get 11 likes one dislike 129 total views this is how where we can calculate the performance of the particular posts next the task generally the tasks are automatically generated from content that needs to be reviewed prior to publishing this means uh, for example when i'm creating a publish rule for example if the post needs to be scheduled once the post needs to be scheduled it will send an email to an approver that is called the task which are the tasks which is created likewise where you can find all those tasks over here at last we have shared content here you can find the content you can use as well as content you have shared with other workspace for example you can create a content for one of the facebook account where that post works well at that time you can use the same content to different workspaces Th those contents will come under shared content i will show one by one how it will work First, I will start with content creation. Create content on different social accounts. Within Publish, there are currently seven types of posts you can create. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram business, and Weibo post. Each type of these posts provides a different way to target and engage your intended audience. For example, Facebook provides two targeting options. One is Facebook 
one is Facebook gating and another one is feed targeting. Facebook gating is a great option if you have one global Facebook page for your company. When you create a specific post, the post will appear in the news feed and on timeline to those users who are following you. So getting a post can make it viable to users within specific country. Next, the feed targeting. The feed targeting is little different. This is the great option to use if you want the content to go live on your Facebook page and viewable to all the users. The feed target will target the customers based on demographics such as age, gender, interest, likewise, etc. When you publish the targeted post, it will only appear in the newsfeed who meet the targeted criteria. But all the Facebook can, users can see the targeted post if they go to the Facebook page timeline. So the difference is getting says only these people can see the post on my Facebook page. Uh, as targeting on the other hand says my post can see by anyone if they come to my Facebook page. Next is LinkedIn targeting. You can target your audience based on company size, geography and industry, etc. This will help you to if you're targeting for a particular business area at the time where you can use LinkedIn targeting. Next, the Twitter. The content can be available to the whole audience to maximize the awareness or you can target the tweets to show up in certain country. By geo targeting options. Next, the Instagram. The Instagram will help you to track the likes and comments for the visualization of your brand. At last, you have YouTube and Google Plus. YouTube and Google Plus will help you to track the performances, including views, commands, link clicks, likes, and dislikes. Now, I will show the demo of how to create the post in Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. First, Twitter. Go to create content, click the tweets. The first thing you have to need to do is first you have to select the select for which account you need to post to. If you click over here, you can see which are all the Twitter accounts which is assigned to this particular workspace. If you want, you can add the accounts as well from here. As of now, only one Twitter account is created for this workspace or assigned for this workspace where I will select the Twitter post. Next, you have an option to get the content from different apps or you can manually add the content over here. For example, this is the content where I need to publish on Twitter. If I want, I can upload the images Okay, it was uploaded or if you want, you can upload the video as well or you have an option called get the content from apps. For example, if your account is added with any of the apps where you can get the images or videos over here as well. Next comes the labels. As I initially told, the label will help you to create a reporting purpose. The deployment. The deployment where we have an option of publish now and schedule from social studio. Publish now, if you click on publish now, it will immediately publish to your Twitter account. If you want to schedule with respect to specific date and time where you need to select which date and time it needs to be scheduled. As of now, I'm going to publish. Now, next the link shortening. For example, if you select the link shortening, 
if you added any of the links with respect to these posts automatically it was shortened by using bitly option at last we have an option of web analytic profiles the web analytics profile this will help you to track the profile by appending urls to publish the links for example I have added Google Analytics where you can see the UTM source, UTM medium, UTM campaign, UTM term, UTM content. This will help you to track the profile by appending the URLs in published links. Once all this done, what you can do is you have an option to save as a draft. Once you, if you put the save as a draft, it will be in draft whenever it was necessary, you can publish at that point. Otherwise, you can publish immediately. Once it is published, automatically that post will come under the calendar of your workspace. Where you can find it over here. And specific, with specific time it was scheduled. Likewise, now I'm going to create a Facebook post. Same as that, first you need to select for which Facebook account you need to publish. Where I have added only one Facebook account, I'm going to add that one. Next, the content. Next, if you want to upload any of the images, where you can do that. Other than that, you have an option of same as like to get the content from the apps. If you want to add any of the video, you can do that. Same as labels for reporting purpose, branded content partner, where, where I'm going to add Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Deployments, same as that, you have an option of publish now. Publish now, if you use publish now, it will immediately publish your page. If you schedule from Social Studio, where uh, you can schedule for a specific date and time, you haven't sent as unpublished. If it is make it as send as unpublished, it is in unpublished status. Schedule to Facebook is nothing but now as an unpublished post and specify a date for publishing on your page. Now I'm going to select the publish now. Same on the Bitly. If you if you have any links which is added to your post where you need to if you want that me to shorten where you're going to select the bitly option otherwise do not shorten you can do anything here you can see the option of targeting if you want to target with respect to specific age specific gender where you can do that for example if you want to restrict this post from 13 to 22 if you want to target only for the men's based on specific locations, based on specific language, where you can do that all those options, general Facebook targeting. You have an option of restrict audience as well based on your age, for which age and which location it needs to be restrict. At last, you have an option of web analytical parameters where you can add UTM source, UTM medium, UTM campaign, UTM term, UTM content. This mainly used to track the profiles. Same. As Twitter, where you have an option of save as tab and publish now. I'm going to directly, I think your Facebook page must be verified to use the branded content. Okay. Since it is a demo account, we don't have an option, no problem. I'm going to remove that. I'm, I will publish this post. Once it was posted automatically, this post will become under the calendar tab. Now I'm going to create a LinkedIn post same for which account you need to post the content of the post upload images any videos if you want to if the account is integrated with any of the apps where you can get the content from those apps labels for reporting you have an same option published now and scheduled from social studio as like Twitter to shorten the link if you want to target based on geographical area, company size, industry, function, seniority, 
you have an option with respect to that in LinkedIn. Generally, LinkedIn will be targeting based on your industry on the company size. And it, at last, you have an option of web analytics parameters. Sorry, I haven't selected, no problem. Likewise, you need to create the LinkedIn post as well. Next, notes. How the note will help? Before going to talk about notes, I want to talk about the post inspector. What post inspector will do for your general accounts? For that, you need to go to, first you need to go to the post which is posted under your account for that you have to go to calendars i'm going to click this post once you have clicked the any of the post automatically the post inspector will open this post inspector will show all the available information about the post from this you can edit a post, duplicate a post, share the content with different workspaces. If you want, you can promote the content by feed targeting or you can delete this post as well. You have all these options. For example, when we are going to use the shared content, for example, if this post will perform well, at that time, the same content may need to be used with different workspaces. How we are going to do that? Simply click the shared content where you need to select one second. Here you have an option of for which which are all the workspaces you need to post this. See here, you can see all the workspaces which is created in this account. The same post will be deploying for this workspace as well. Once it is applied automatically, the same post is going to share with the one more workspace. Likewise, we can do and you have one more important options with respect to post inspector is add notes. At last you have an option like add notes. How to add notes to the calendar? Some key collaboration features in Social Studio are note features and shared content features. The note feature will allow any team member to provide a quick update on post. You can access the post by clocking any calendar day. You can see the note feature in Post Inspector and you can leave the note to the team member of the workspaces so that they can view, edit and remove the post. If you're adding any commands, please keep in mind, note can be a maximum of 256 character in length and generally note can be added for comments questions and suggestions from the note you can see from who you got that comments so you can directly contact that person for example this post i need to remove this post which is particularly this post which is published for that i'm going to put a note like deleted this post. Once I have added that note, it will be comes under my name, but everyone can see these notes. For example, I don't have an option to delete the post. At that time, the admin will comes and see this post. He may directly contact it to me why it needs to be deleted. 
with so many questions after that if he wants to delete he will go and delete likewise this is a simple example likewise if you want to put any comments questions any suggestions at that time with respect to that particular post you can add the notes over there Next, the performance and tracking on post which is published. Once the content is posted, the post performance can be measured and tracked to analyze the effectiveness. Where the post is accomplished the target and milestone you have established. The content performance can be measured and tracked in three different locations within the social studio. You can track the performance on individual post level and you can track the performance on workspace content performance sections. And lastly, you can perform cross workspace reports as well. Let's start with individual post level. For that, go to account. If you want to know how your post content is performing at an individual level, you can simply click on the post, any of the post which is published from your account. Automatically, your post inspector will open. This is called the post inspector or the post details. Here you, you can view how many clicks, how many retweets, how many replies, how many engagements, how many impressions, how many followers with respect to your Twitters. You can find all those information. Likewise, it's for different Facebook accounts, LinkedIn accounts, YouTube accounts. It's the same as it is. This is with respect to an individual level of details. Next, with respect to workspace content performance. For that, click the performance tab on the left nav bar. Here, you can see the summary of how the social accounts attached to the workspace are doing over the past seven days. And you don't have an option to customize these reports as well. But the metrics will include the lifetime metrics of the messages published within the given date. And here the graph will give you the number of posts, likes, shares, comments, post clicks, etc. For all the different accounts, I think I have explained in the initial session. Next, at last, you have an option of post report section where you can see the report for all the posts. These reports can be customized based on media types and column settings. I will show that post reports. These are the post reports. Where you can see the reports for all the posts. These reports can be customized based on media types. Here you can see which are all the media types, links, photos, status, videos, and carousel images. These are all the media types you can filter based on that. And you have have an option of column settings for example if you want only the post clicks if you want only the likes if you want only the shares if you want only the comments or based on account level for example if you want only the facebook related information you can get all those type of reports and you can ex you have an option of export with respect to csv and tsv per format you can directly export from it here automatically it was downloaded to your desktop this is how you can track the last report next approvals the approvals will allow you to send posts through an approval process. The approval rules will be based on authors, social accounts, Facebook gating country, 
LinkedIn targeting country, Facebook gating languages, and labels. If you want to create an approval rules, first go to workspace settings. Here you can see approval rules. Click publish rules. As of now, there is no approval rules were created. Create new. First, you have to know, name the approval rules. You have an option to select the condition when it needs to be sent to approve. For example, if the social account contains this account or the gating country is Afghanistan at that time this needs to be sent to approval tools you have an option of Android R options where you can yeah, you can edit and change it to R as well and you can likewise you can add multiple number of conditions where you can see submitted LinkedIn targeting country labels, etc. Next, who needs to approve the post that trigger these rules? You can select the approver for this roles. You, you need to select any one of the users who are working for this workspace. At last, you have an option of save. Once it is saved, moving forward. If any of the post which is created from that Facebook account based on that particular country, automatically it will trigger a rule for that particular person. Once she is approved, then only that post will be published. This is how we are going to create a approval rules. Yes, first admin creates an approval rules. User create a content. Once schedules the approval rules is activated, the requested email will be sent to an approval. The admin approves or rejects the content. Approvers or rejects the email sent to users and the content is posted if approved. Yes, that's all for this session.